Okay, this is Gamer Believe, and we're back with Tank in Fallout Tactics. And uh, between the last video and this video, I actually went back to uh, Bunker Beta because uh, there was a. Uh, it's the second time I've gone back to Bunker Beta, actually, in search of drugs. And uh, the first time I went back to Bunker Beta, I was actually successful and got, uh, uh, I think, like six buff out pills, which is good, because I would only have two right now. Uh, but uh, I had left some Psycho there. There was like six Psycho um, from the merchant. Uh, but um, I went back and uh, <laughs> the, he wasn't there anymore. So that was kind of a waste of time. And uh, with the increased rate of um, encounters, uh, you know, that really actually took quite a long time. So that was uh, that was not much fun. Uh, in addition, um, I I finally broke down. Um, finally broke down and and looked up to see if there was anything that I could see, you know, indicating, you know, is is there a bug with Fallout Tactics with some of the newer versions or maybe on newer systems um, that causes um, that causes an increase in uh, the number of uh, the number of, or the frequency of, uh, random encounters, and, uh, indeed it seems that there is, and, you know, I didn't want to get too deep into, into, um, you know, forums, because I'm really trying to, um, kind of rid myself of the gameplay habits that I have developed over the years of, you know, kind of getting into forums and reading a whole lot about games, even though I've played this game extensively in the past, um, you know, I just kind of want to rely on my own experiences and my own knowledge, um, you know, in the, in the case of new games, you know, just learning from experiencing the game myself, and, you know, if anyone wants to post anything, you know, in response to my videos, letting me know something about a video, that's fine, or letting me know something about a game, that's fine. Um, or, you know, someone personally telling me something about a game. Uh, that's fine, and that's, uh, definitely welcome. But, uh, you know, I don't want to go out and, and actually look for, um, you know, for content about, about, uh, games. But, you know, it definitely seems like, based on what I found, that there are issues with newer systems, um, based on the limited information that I found, it was relating to frame rates, and, uh, that there wasn't really anything, surprisingly enough, uh, that could be done. You know, it seemed like the best, the best solution really is to have someone with a high outdoor skill, and, uh, just ignore, uh, the encounters. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, if someone is watching these videos who knows better, uh, then please feel free to post, you know, if there is a patch out there, uh, I would definitely be open to installing it, you know, to make it more like, uh, whatever it was back when I was playing it. Uh, pardon, pardon the use of the cliched expression, but back in the day, as it were. But, uh, you know, I've already taken care of the standard business here, but so I'm gonna go ahead and get, get the briefing. So we've got Great Water, or um, I'm reading these backwards, Great Bend and Cold Water. So as is my custom, I'm just going to kind of go down the list here. At ease, brother. The time to take the battle to the robots is now. Intelligence has located the origin of the robot that attacked Junction City, and the tracks originated from a pre-war center of industry known as the Great okay. Bend. Okay. <clears throat> As our operatives moved closer, they discovered many tracks from different robots, all originating from this mass of burnt-out factories. Lights were seen at a distance, so it's assumed that some of the old power generators are now back online. The elders believe this location is being transformed into a robot manufacturing facility. 
You will take a squad to Great Bend immediately. If this is the area where the robots are originating, we must strike quickly and shut them down. If our assumptions are incorrect, you will search and destroy any robots you come oh, across. Oh, man. As always, keep an eye open to any information or technology that you come across. Assemble your strike team and leave immediately. Dismissed. Well, this one's going to be intense, isn't it? This is going to be an intense one. Exciting. Looks like it's going to be exciting, but it'll be intense. For sure. I would almost be inclined to uh, encounter some of these if you, you know, if you only had one or two encounters per, but, you know, the obscene rate. Uh-oh. Jim Grimm and Joe Grimm. Okay. I, th I believe this is a unique encounter here. I'm going to investigate. Looks like I can actually talk to one of them. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Look, my brother Jim stepped on a mine and wrecked his foot. Now, I know humans and super mutants are supposed to kill each other on sight, but I think it's time to leave the past in the past. Now, I don't want to stand group hug and sing kumbaya and shit, but huh. maybe one of you guys can hook a mutant up? Huh? What do you say? Can you help my brother? Okay, well, let's get Stitch up here and, uh... Have him, uh, patch him up. See what, see what happens. Hey, thanks, pal. Maybe the master was wrong. Huh. Maybe you normal humans ain't all scum sucking flesh bags. <laughs> Maybe it's me, but the old brotherhood would have shot first and asked questions later. We just might have to check out this new brotherhood for ourselves. See you around. Let's go, Gimpy. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I don't remember, um, that random encounter, or that unique encounter from a uh, previous playthrough of the game. I mean, like I said, it's been so long. If you've been watching this series, uh, you know, it's been so long since I played through this game. So, based on what they're saying, you know, maybe maybe they are now available recruits. You know, I don't know. Perhaps. All right. At ease, brother. The time to take okay. the battle to the... We've already got our mission briefing. So let's just have a look here. Just kind of, just kind of once over this area. This place looks pretty significant.
anyway, to kind of uh, jump back uh, a couple of topics back to what I was talking about at the very beginning of this uh, mission, or this video, excuse me, um, about the Psycho. I've only got four doses left, so, which of course I'm going to use one right now. Um, and uh, hopefully be, uh, hopefully be getting some soon. Hopefully be getting some soon. Uh-oh. Well, actually, hang on a second. Let's, uh... Oh, he knocked both of them out. Let's, uh... He seems to be doing pretty effectively so far. Let's uh, switch over to this. Finish these guys off. Oh, he's got back up. Oh yeah, he's not on a... There we go. Sometimes you just have to have Stein take care of a little business, if you know what I mean. <coughs> okay, so something tells me you don't want to have your guys run over these electrical wires over here. Uh, we got a humanoid bot over here. Let's see what this civilian has. Hopefully some psycho. That'd be really cool. No such luck. No such luck. A little bit of afterburner. I mean, even at this point, even every dose of psycho I can find is invaluable absolutely invaluable <clears throat> because I'm pretty sure I've got more than three missions left after this I'm pretty dang sure that that's the case and uh Yep, only got three doses of Psycho. Okay, hey, how many, how many tank? Tank critically, okay, so I am, I'm hitting him for damage. We're doing, whoa, he blinded me. Okay, let's get Stein over here to kind of uh, take a little bit of... Is he not able to do damage to him? Okay, come on. He's wasting, uh, wasting damage, or wasting... Wasting, um... That's very strange. That guy's... <clears throat> that guy was, uh, strangely really tough. Kind of after the initial barrage that, uh, I did really good damage to him, he, he, um... He was just able to... take... Uh, quite a bit of damage. Okay, so let's get um, let's get Boomer over here in the event that this uh, Ripley the prisoner. Wait, now Ripley. Whoa! It seems like, unless I'm mistaken, was Ripley the person? Um, that I saved 
from the bandit camp. And I could be I could be mistaken about this, probably am. As I frequently am about such things. Just bring in Boomer over to check this door for traps. Okay. Okay, let's bring in Ed. He's got 150. There we go. I was about to say he should be able to unlock most stuff in this game at this point. Uh, well, we got some more buff out, which is good. Definitely good, but their way, kind of, wait, what did she say? Kind of like you guys? Dang it. I really wish I got to read that. Hey, I always have time to chat with someone who doesn't want to end my life. Things been pretty dangerous around here with all the robots, but I watched a strange sight about a week ago. One of the robots wandered through one of the derelict buildings and a wall collapsed on it. It was pinned down and trapped. It's still there in one of those mm -hmm. buildings humming away, making all sorts of weird sounds. I think it upset the other robots, too, because they all started acting upset, you know, running around and even bumping into each other. <laughs> Almost act like real people, huh? That is strange. Interesting. Most interesting. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and close her door. For one more line of defense there. As if that's going to stop them. Okay, so it looks as if. Well, I can go check this, um, this little building out over here. Doubt there's anything in it. Whoa. Oh, that, that liquid there. Not something you want to step in. Not something you want to step in. Probably should have replenished uh, Stitch's medical supplies, too. Of course, looks like we've got... Looks like I've got a little bit here. Looks like I've got some. Okay. Let us investigate. Oh. Come on, psycho. Okay, so it looks like here... Okay, so here's a gate. So this is obviously going to open the gate. And canister of acid. I'm assuming that's a thrown weapon. Okay. Um. Oh, don't don't uh, step in the um. Don't step in the water. <coughs> okay. Activate the switch. Now go kill people. Oh, I'm still blinded. I should have... Perhaps I should have taken measures. Regarding that. And these guys look pretty, uh... These guys look pretty intense. Oh, oh. This guy's got the uh, laser gun, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna take care of him first. That guy gets the, uh, that guy gets the power fist. That guy gets the old power fist. 
really hoping I get power armor soon. Um, so Stein, well one, so Stein can uh, use some heavier weapons. Because uh, he's kind of uh, limited right now. Wow, that, um... That minigun is just not effective against those bots. They've got, uh, damage reduction that just, um... They just shrug it off. They just shrug that off. I'm kind of curious, um... Okay, kind of curious to see... Well, it's almost destroyed. Well, whatever. Okay, so the 50 cal does damage to him. That's good to know. Dang it. Was really hoping for some small energy cells there. Um, you know, we really need... I really need something so I can... Um, you know, so I can feel good about just uh, punching everything with that dang power fist. Um, you know, until I get something, uh, until I start getting, <clears throat> rather, um, you know, something that, uh, lets me do that on a regular basis. There's, it's just not, uh, it's just not practical. It's not feasible. Okay. So, let me get some Stein. That guy's got a M1 Garand, so that's not, that's not particularly threatening. And then this guy's got a Vindicator. Laser rifle M60. So all in all, these guys are not particularly um, well equipped. They're just extremely well armored. Um, you know, which is uh, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It's a bad thing because it makes it takes me forever to kill. Uh, it's a good thing. Because, um, uh, you know, unless they do the old critical hit that bypasses the defenses, they're not particularly threatening to uh, tank. Let's see if uh, Alice can uh, make this take a little bit less time here. Whoa! Alice, get out of there! They've got a laser turret guy up there that uh, is... Um, That's not cool. Not cool. Oh, now I'm crippled. Huh. Uh. Okay. We're gonna have to do something. Hopefully whatever was shooting those lasers at me, maybe it's got some small energy cells. I mean, for crying out loud, some some of these robots have got to have small energy cells. Because, let's see, tank has 145. I mean, it's just not enough to go around punching everything with it. It just isn't. Whoa. This isn't working. Um. Okay. Let's. Whoops. Didn't, I thought that I'd ended my combat, or I, I intended to end my combat. Let's finish this guy off here. And then, let's go get Stitch to patch him up here with the doctor bag. Oh, 
hopefully get, um, actually, he's going to need more than one patching, so I'm going to give him a uh, first aid first, and then give him some doctoring to uh, get rid of the crippledness and the blindness, hopefully. Ah. Uh, I forgot, or I just hadn't noticed, probably hadn't noticed, that he only can get rid of one status effect at a time. And if I had noticed that, I would have, um... Well, I suppose, I suppose I don't really care about that right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack, since that thing uh, is wielding an energy weapon, I'm gonna go in there with my power fist in this hand, and, uh... Kill it with this. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, Nelly. Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. Okay. That's a situation right there. For sure. Um. Okay. Um, Stein, I'm not sure. Might have to do this in kind of like a turn based mode. You know, like get tank out there, draw a little bit of fire, and then have, uh, you know, like uh, Alice and. Um, oh, shoot, Alice is hurt. Have Alice and um, Stein do, do a little bit of shooting. Where'd, Al where'd I put Alice? Okay, don't die. Now they're coming to me, looks like. Which is potentially a good thing. Okay. So, okay. Um, Man, this is going to be hairy. This is going to be hairy. Mike. Um. Okay, so I'm wondering if I shoot at... Oh, man, they got three of them in there. So if I shoot at this one, will it damage the other ones is my question. Not for very much. Wait. Well, it knocked it to the ground. Okay, that doesn't do any damage. Oh, jeez. This is going to be really, really, really difficult. 
Um. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Stein could have died there. I'm surprised that I'm surprised that he didn't. Jeez, that does so much damage. Okay. Can you get it up there? Well, that did good damage. So we're gonna have to blow these guys up. Whoa! Dang it! Wonder what they're protecting in there. Probably a big stash of psycho. Yeah, right. Okay. Um. Uh, let's see. Or. junk going on here. Alright, I'm looking at the time on the video, and I think that's going to be a good place to cut this one. So, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll pick up here next time.